What's up everybody, today I'm going to show you my Ohm's Law calculator. There hasn't been any videos except for like two that I found. They're not tutorials, they're just a review what I'm gonna, like I'm going to do on mine. And they don't show you how to make Ohm's Law calculator, which I really don't like about it. And I searched on YouTube, I searched on the internet, I couldn't figure it out, so I decided to, to make it myself. So it's right here, I have, it's made in Visual Basic, I'll include a download link in the description in the description. But anyways, let's go to the build folder or debug folder where my video basic party can run it. It's called Ohm's Law Calculator. It has an Ohm sign and it's LC for the icon. It stands for Ohm sign for Ohms and L for law and so we've got it. Okay. Let's go ahead up. Oh, start the minute. Wait a second. We start it. Wait. If you start it, it will um, have file, current, resistance, and voltage. It has the directions right in the center of the screen if you can't figure it out. It's pretty simple. But it's to select an option from above. So pick current resistance or vo voltage. I also have an, my newer version that I'll come out with later. It's going to have watts. So yeah. So in the file, it says, if you go to help, it just shows you like how to do it. It says basically the same thing as in the center of the screen. But now if you go to help uh, file and help, it says when opening the program, select one of the menu items. Click the A menu and get started. It's basically the same thing as this. You got a file and about. This is created by me, Ohmsaw Calculator 1.0. And I'll show you the exit function in a second. You go to current. Um, this is what it's going to look like. And you have 10 watts to. No, actually, to 20. So you have 20 watts. And your resistance to. We show the current. These both stick to say N and unless you put um, values in that text box. But to find if you want current with watts and resistance. So if you have 20 watts and two um, ohms of resistance, it's gonna have 3.1 and whatever it says right there. And you go do that again for two for voltage and two resistance. It says one. And you have 20 watts. Oh, sorry. 20 watts and 2 voltage is 10. See, so yeah, that proves that it works. So it doesn't come out with the same stuff. Click the clear button will erase it, which is really nice. And you can exit by clicking exit. And it file exit. Or you can just click the X out. But I wouldn't do that because if you click the X out, it X out of that only. But yeah. Now I'll show you the resistance. Let's do the same values actually. 20 watts, 2 voltage, 2 and 20, and I'll explain why we have the same thing but it's switched around in a second, wait a second, and 2, um, let's make current too, okay, first of all I want to show you this, see how it says watts and voltage, and then right below it says voltage and watts, just so you know, if you don't want to square it, I made it in a function in this program, so it's already squared. When, so you can put 20 and when you calculate it, it will do 20 squared times 2. Whatever. doesn't matter. And So basically it does a square root for you. Well, squared. Not squared root. Um, but, yeah. So you don't even have to do, do all the calculations. This does everything for you. So go ahead and click show resistance. So it's 200. Cause this, this is squared. And then it's the... I don't know what I know. But I have to look it up. But that's what it is. This is correct. And you can clear that again. Exit. Go to voltage. Do the same thing. 20 to 22. And we'll put 2 and 2. So voltage is. Yeah, there we go. And click clear. Click exit. And that's basically it for my program. It basically it calculates Ohm's law. Current, resistance, and voltage. P, which is w wattage, I'm going to have in my next version. But yeah, so keep a close eye on that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching and seeing this review of my Ohm's Law calculator that I made in Visual Basic. Have a nice day.